This is the Tobin One USB-C docking station for Windows devices, which was sent to me free of charge so that I could check it out and tell you all about it. Now, again, this is for Windows devices. If you are interested in one that is also compatible with Mac systems, then you might want to check out this other one right here. But this is for another video. Now, again, this is for Windows devices and uh, especially laptops. Of course, if you connect it to a Windows Tower rig or you know big gaming rig, it will work, of course. But this is meant to make your life easier when using a Windows laptop. Now, it has a couple of rubber feet in the bottom to prevent sliding and it lays very flat on your desk. But it also has on the top this couple of, uh, I don't know, feet if you want to call it or support stands support flaps I don't know how you want to call them but they got a couple of rubber feet or rubber tips rather that will prevent your computer from getting scratched so that's a very nice attention to detail right here the hinges of these are very very stiff very very secure and as you could probably tell they do require a lot of intention and actually a bit of effort to bring them out and this is where you rest your laptop all right so let's go over all the ports because there are a lot and starting from left to right we do have a 2.5 gigahertz ethernet adapter we have three display ports one of them or two of them are actually hdmi and the third one is a display port port now i'm going to go over the resolutions and specifications of each in just a second but in the meantime, let's go on with the other ports. Now you have three USB-A ports. Two of them are five gigabit per second. And the third one is a 10 gigabit per second port. We have a power delivery USB-C port. And this is where you connect the included GAN charger, which is this one right here. This is a 100 watt GAN charger and it is very small but very, very powerful. So I very much appreciate that it was included in the box. Also included in the box is this very nice braided USB-C cable with the Tobin One branding. Very, very slick. I really like the way that it looks. And so this is how you will provide power to your laptop that is connected via the USB-C port, which is right here on the, on the right side. And we also have a USB-C port additional for, you know, whatever device you want to connect to this one. So this, again, will power your laptop as long as you have it connected to your, again, charger that's included. Now, on the sides, you also have some additional ports. On the left side, no, actually the right side, you have an SD card reader, full-size SD card reader, as well as a micro SD card reader. You have your headset jack, meaning that it supports headphones with microphones and you have a power button. Now this power button, it, you can hear it as a very satisfying, satisfying click, but this power button works by holding it down. So if you want to power it on or off, then you just press and hold for a few seconds and it's gonna power on or off, whether, well, depending on what state it is. It turns on by default, so as soon as you connect it, it will turn on, so that's clutch. Now on the left side, we have a few additional ports. We have a Kensington lock so that nobody will steal it. And you have two additional USB-C ports which support 10 gigabits per second. Now back to the displays, you can use all three displays at the same time and they do not require drivers. If you only use one of the ports for display, regardless of if, if it's the HDMI one or two or the display port, they will support 8K resolution at up to 30 Hertz. Now, again, this is only if you connect one, regardless of uh, which ports you connect it to. So, okay, so if you only connect the one display, you can go up to 8K at 30 Hertz. Now, if you connect two monitors, and again, regardless of whether you use both HDMI or one, either of the HDMIs plus the display port, as long as you have two monitors connected then you will be able to go up to 4k at 60 hertz now the first caveat is that if you connect three displays which you can of course connect three displays two of them are going to be 4k 60 and the third one is going to be 4k 30. now i believe that the third one meaning the one that will have 4k 30 is actually the port which is labeled hdmi 2. Now, these configurations are assuming that your Windows system supports DP 1.4 with DSC or MST. 
Now, if your system has DP 1.4 but does not support DSC or MSD, then the resolutions are a little bit different. If you connect a single monitor, you will still have 8K 30, but if you connect two monitors, then it's a little bit different. If you use DisplayPort and one of either HDMI ports, then the DisplayPort is going to be a 4K 30 and whichever HDMI port that you connect is going to be 1080 60. And if you use both HDMI ports, then the first one, HDMI 1, is going to be 4K 30, and then HDMI 2 is going to be 1080p 60. And if you decide to connect all three displays, then all of them are going to be at 1080p 60. Then finally, if your system supports only DP 1.2 with MSD, then you will have a much lower resolution. You can connect a single display at up to 4K 30 and up to two monitors at 1080p 60, regardless of which combination of ports you use, and you will not be able to connect up to three monitors. So all in all, you do have a lot of flexibility when it comes to this docking station. Now, as for the build quality, this is amazing. It is almost completely made of metal, so built like a tank. It is very solid, very hefty, and I guess only the sides are made of plastic, but otherwise a very, very good and premium feeling build you will absolutely have no problems keeping this in your backpack carrying it around because it's going to really stand the test of time i really like the form factor of this i think that uh, it is very slim very sleek again carrying it around is going to be no problem this is a very portable device and i really like the included can charger 100 watts in a very small and compact charger and the included usb-c cable which is a really nice touch because it is braided so it's a very easy recommendation if you have a Windows computer or Windows laptop rather, then this is definitely a go, especially if you want to be able to connect to external displays and whatnot. And probably something that you might even want to have uh, permanently at your desk and every time you want to plug in your laptop, you just put it on top of it. But uh, still, again, like I mentioned, very easy to carry it around, very, very portable, very sturdy. So. Again, a very easy recommendation. So I hope that this video was helpful. Hope to see you in the next one. And until then, may God bless you all.